All right. Hello, everyone. Or get this camera pointed in the right direction there. And let's see. Okay, we are ready to go. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kurt. Get my camera here. All right, I think we're looking good here. Man, it's getting earlier by the day. The sun is getting later. <laughs> Longer days, it's nice. <laughs> well, hey, listen, my name is Kurt, and I am a dad who draws, and this is our Wednesday night uh, live draw. Uh, I want to welcome everybody who is new and anyone who might be watching the recording. I am glad that you are here. Uh, this is, uh, we also have an event on Monday nights as well. We usually do a type of landscape or architecture or something uh, that is natural. Uh, but on uh, Wednesdays, we typically look at portraiture. So uh, I just want to say hello to everyone and we're going to jump right into it. So. I have a live chat going on, so if you have any questions or need me to slow down or anything like that, please just jump right in. And uh, I think that's all we've, we've got. I do ask that um, in the, uh, if you're interested in taking a free class, I do have a beginner's workshop class, and there's a link down in the description that you could check out. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. It does look like I have a little bit of, um, you might experience a little buffering, but uh, that usually goes away within the first five minutes of, uh, of our lives. So, okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we're going to be drawing tonight. In our Facebook group, uh, we put up a vote early in the morning and let people vote on the face that they wanna do. And so this is what has come up. So we're gonna draw this girl. Now, every time that I approach uh, drawing any type of subject matter, uh, first thing I want to do is just take some time and just look, look at what I'm gonna draw and uh, I just get familiar with it, get a little familiar with it. So I'm looking at it and it looks like the girl's head is she's of course leaning down. Um, it's a three quarter view. I can see part side of her head and part of the front. Uh, she has this lovely hand. It's completely relaxed and it's coming into frame. So we're going to take a look at that as well tonight. The nice thing about her hand, and I'll tell you, it's showing more of the backside. And uh, I find the backside a little bit more easier to draw than the inside. The inside can be quite deceptive with all of the different pads and, and um, fat that you have. These things are able to, so we could grab things. But the outside, your your bones are toward the surface. So it makes it a little bit more easier to draw. So let's go ahead and um, get into this. I'm gonna change my color to be just a little bit more tone here. So every time that I approach any type of drawing, I always go through a three-step uh, phases. And I wanna write those out for you. Uh, if you're a common viewer to my channel, then you this won't be new to you, but we uh, always go with a gesture. That's a first phase. Second phase we are looking at would be construction. Construction and the third phase is detail. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through all three of those as we, uh, as we get going here. Um, so, let me just talk about gesture a little bit. Gesture, uh, I like to hold my pencil or a pen or whatever you're going to be using tonight. Hold it loosely from the back and you really want to use your whole arm to draw with and keep it loose. You want to keep it really loose. And the gesture phase is time that you can just kind of quickly jump from feature to feature, try and understand about where things are go. You're not you're not trying to get into the detail yet or you're not trying to get into construction. You're just trying to give yourself a pretty good overall feel for what's happening. So, so that will be the first phase and we're gonna start that in just a second. Now, there is one other part that comes when I draw portraits and um, you this, is, this falls into right almost after the gesture and I wanna show that to you. Uh, 
this is where I would go into this idea of 3D. I mean, I'm sorry, 2D, 3D, and then face placement. It's sort of like the Andrew Loomis method, but it's, it's slightly different. So what do I mean by these things? So if you were to uh, look, at, look at any head, the first thing you want to determine is which way is that head tilting on a 2D axis? So let's just say I'm going to use this pen. I'm going to demo on myself here. And first thing you want to ask is, oh, is the head leaning to the left or the head leaning to the right? And so that's what we're looking at first when we talk about 2D. So is it going to the left or is it going to the right? So looking at our model here, the 2D axis, let me make sure I'm on the right layer, great. The 2D axis is going this way, you see? That's the angle that she is tilting her head. All right, so that's the first thing we want to do. So. The next, the next phase, the next thing you want to think about is the 3D axis. So, for example, if my head is, is leaning this way, okay, and then is it coming toward me or is it going away? So that would be the next, that would be the next little bit of information we want to ask. And there are some, there are some ways that we could see this. Uh, do we see a lot of the bottom of her nose? Do we see the underside of her lip? Do we see underneath her chin. Well, uh, we don't see any of these things. So based upon that, I would say she is slightly coming towards us. Hey, look at that. Z is in the house, ready to represent. <laughs> hey, Z. So, so this is coming towards us just a little bit. Okay. So let's show it over here a little bit. So this is the angle. And then we know that this is that the head is slightly coming towards us. And what we could do is when we get into the, this is gonna help us determine the eye line. So for example, let me show you two more down here. If this was along the same exact axis, so if this was going away from us, then, then we're gonna have an angle like that for the eye line. But since this one is coming towards us, the angle is going to be this way. This is where the top of the head will be because it's coming towards us. So this girl is slightly coming towards us. So we're going to put her head right up toward the front there. And then we could determine that her uh, eye line is just somewhere right about there. And we're going to cover all this in a lot more detail in just a second. <laughs> Hiya right back to you, Z. <laughs> all right, next thing we want to do is where where is the face? So let's, let's come over here to our model. All right. So eye line is going to be right in there. Okay. Brow line is going to be right up there. So next thing we want to determine is where along, where along this axis, where along this brow line is her face. So what I mean by that. So my model's face is going to be on that side. You see that? If I was going to draw it right here, it'd be over here. But let's just say it was facing the other way. It might be over here. All right. So that's the next thing that we, we take a look at is where is, where is the face along that axis? And I just thought of another one, and this really isn't part of it, but this is uh, something to really uh, mark down on your paper as a uh, landing point is looking for the temples of the eye, the temples of the head, all right? So let me show you that. I'll change the color here to a nice bright blue. So her temples are gonna be right about there. You see that? And you could, you could feel your temples. They're all right on the outside, right on the outside of your um, eyebrows, okay? So we wanna determine where those, where those temples are and then we can construct it. Sometimes you've heard people call it the T of the face. All right, where we run along a line there and then this will become the center line. You see that? And this forms a bit of a T. 
So then it's on this on this T that we will start to hang all the elements. All right, excellent. G Mark Marcus is is tuning in from <laughs> tuning in from uh, the Caribbean. <laughs> Good to have you, my friend. <clears throat> so uh, let's see now. So that's basically, those are the steps when we come to draw a face. So we want to keep those things in mind. 2D, 3D, where the face is, and then uh, look for the temples and the T of the face, okay? All right. So I'm going to erase all this. Let's get rid of all this right now. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to... Uh, just erase that. In fact, hold on here. Mask. Okay, now we're ready to go. Excellent. I'll write those things back up on top here so we don't we don't forget them. But we have uh, we're gonna have. Uh, I'll put it over here. Two D. That goes to 3D. That goes to face. And then that, that would go to looking for the T of the face. And so those are our steps. And then uh, our phases, uh, we're gonna look at gesture, construction, and then detail. Okay. All right, if you have any questions, just throw it on there, and I will jump right in there and answer, answer those up for you. Okay, just erase that there. Okay, so first thing we do, let's, let's go ahead and think of our gesture here. So I'm going to start off with uh, a sphere for her face, and all I'm doing really quickly is just letting my pencil run very lightly along jumping from place to place give me an idea of where things might go okay that's that's about as good good as a gesture I'm gonna get right now. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and go through our different phases. So I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna put in like a very light line. This is going to be my 2D axis, and I'm going to uh, it's coming toward me. Her three the 3D. Okay. So very lightly, I'm going to put a line up there. Now this is going to be for her brow line all right face placement I am going to look at it's right about here I would say and of course we always can make uh, we always can uh, make adjustments as we go and and that will be expected so we have that now let's let's put in our temple here Okay, and the one thing you want to do bef when you uh, put your temples in, because it's a, th a three-quarter view, this is what's going to happen. Uh, this, this distance is going to be shorter than this distance, okay? And you want to you make sure that you uh, have that relationship because it is three-quarter. If it was looking straight at us, it would be dead center, okay? All right, next thing you do, all right, so we have our, our brow line. Uh, let's go ahead. I, I will sometimes put like a side, uh, almost like you have just sliced off part of the side of the head there. And I come in with a straight line. And this is all part of construction, okay? 
And I'm just going to come down here and bring this at a slight angle. I'm going to follow, look to the bottom of her chin roughly. And then I'm going to bring in this, this jawline that is mostly, mostly covered with, with hair there. And so is her, her ear as well. There's a saying too that I like to say is that don't draw for lightness, draw for construction. Try and get the construction down and then believe it or not, the lightness will automatically happen. That was a really, uh, when I started doing that in my drawing career, uh, it made all the difference. Then I, it took a lot of pressure off from trying to make this person look like whoever they were. Okay, so let's, let's kind of put, come in here with a slight angle. This will, this will be her visor, they call this, okay? I'm gonna come across here. And then we're gonna come all the way down to the edge of her cheek. And, and this is, uh, make sure I'm on the right layer here. That, that's where the edge of her cheek is, right there, okay? And then we're gonna then we're gonna come in at a different angle slightly. We're gonna get her chin in. And then right over here, her chin is going to uh, curve up. You see this? This being her cheek, this will also curve around. And like I said, make sure you are drawing these things lightly, okay? This basic, this basic head that you have right now in front of you at this at this stage, uh, if you're having trouble drawing portraits, uh, you want to master this this basic shape. You really want to master this uh, this basic shape. Okay, so now let's let's for fun let's kind of take a look at where her hand is, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at the overall feel overall uh, area of her hand you could see oh cancel you know her hand is taking up uh, let's see if I can move this face over just a little bit yeah well I'm just gonna do that you can see that her hand is taking up you could get an idea in your head of how much real estate her hand is taking up there. So that's something that we want to make sure that we keep in mind as we start to uh, put it in place. So I'm just going to kind of gesture here, just the general area. I'm not terribly concerned right now. Just getting the shape. Okay, I'm gonna go with that, and I can make some, I can make some adjustments in a little bit here. All right, let's continue on here. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to start getting her. I'm gonna start with her nose here, and I'm going to follow this pattern where I'm following the surface of that visor. You see that? And when I draw a nose. There's usually like a slight keystone that's at the very top there. And this is going to circle around and I'm looking at her shape of the nose right now. Okay, so this is this is what I'm looking at. Okay. I'm 
this is what I'm looking at right now in my mind. I'm going to leave that up there so that you have something to kind of guide yourself on. Now, typically that would be, that's in my mind right now. That's, I wouldn't be actually drawing on a picture, but those are the things that I would be thinking of when I'm putting this together. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do now is put her eyes in. So let's see now, her eye is a little bit large on this side. So usually what, when I'm putting eyes in, I like to think of, uh, I think of the eyeball. And then I think of the pupil. Now, there's lots of ways to draw eyes. But this is the way that, I don't know, this is the way that I do it. <laughs> Looks like there's some buffering going on again. So, very true portraits. That's right. That is exactly right. Yeah, you know, drawing portraits are like the crown jewel. So, you know, it, it takes... You just don't wake up doing this. It takes many, many attempts of doing it. Okay, so here's, when I'm drawing an eye, let me just kind of throw it out here for you. I usually draw the eyeball first. Uh, then I will draw the pupil. And when I, when I draw the eyelid on this, I want to think of the eyelid as like, uh, almost like I'm covering, I'm, I'm creating a covering over the eyeball. Okay. So, so I'll come up, I'll come down and then down underneath here. And usually the eye will hang slightly underneath the eyelid. And then we'll cup around like this. You see that? So let's do that on our model here. So it's going to peak. Okay. And let's get the other one as well. Above the above this eyelid, uh, on the let's see here now let's uh, let's do this. Above her eyelid here, and I'll show you on this side here. You know you have this look. This this covering is covering that eyeball, so it's going to have a very round a round feel to it. All right, so let's get that in here. Oops. And then the other side. Now look at this. The other side, the eyelid has a little bit of a straight edge there. It has a little bit of a straight edge, and then we come around it. So you just... When I'm drawing eyelids, I really like to think of it encompassing, going around. Let's get the bottom one down here now. And 
and then we'll get the other one as well. And I'm going to come back and put those highlights in my eyes, but for right now, I'm just going to put a light tone into the pupils there. All right. She has a little bit of mascara, I could see, so we would want to make sure our uh, our outer part of these eyelids are a little bit thicker line. I don't need to draw the actual um, <clears throat> eyelashes. <clears throat> I just like to do it with a little bit thicker line there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this nose now. This is the, the center part right here of the nose. And <clears throat> let's, let's take a look at that nose up here before we draw it on our drawing. So this is coming down toward the septum, I believe it's called, okay? And then I look at her nose and, and just I'm just thinking of the outside of her nostril. And then her wing. Her wing is coming around. And there's a little bit of tone on this back side here. You see this? And there's a little bit of tone on this side. So I see like three different uh, areas that she has for tone. This is coming under like this. And I could see slightly a bit of her nose on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and do it on our picture now. So I'm going to start with the tip of her nose like this. See this? Still drawing lightly. There is an, an illustrator that I like. I've mentioned him before in our group. And it's Roy Lichtenstein. No, no, no. It's uh, uh, oh, <laughs> J.C. Leyendecker. Uh, yeah, if, if you can, you should look him up if you have access to the internet. Well, of course you do, because you're not you're watching me right now. But what J.C. Leyendecker would do is he would draw a lot of these things in the in his painting before he would commit to them. He would paint them in like really nice, nice fashion. And uh, yeah, so he could get the feel for what's going on. All right, so look at this now. Her, the inside part of her eye there, you see that? There's, this is coming around and catching light. So we have this little bit of line here. And I'm going to drop just a slight tone in this whole area here. <clears throat> I remember back in the day when I was learning how to do all this. <clears throat> and uh, boy, it was, it was just, it took so long. But there was, uh, I went back to my, after taking a class, uh, I went back to my studio the next day, found a big old picture of, uh, of a newspaper, of, a, of uh, a, movie, a movie that was playing, and it had like big stars in it, and I, I used the big, huge black and white photos from the uh, newspaper to draw these guys' portraits. 
and it turned out spot on and it was like the most exhilarating feeling i took it to the next day to my class showed my teacher and you know he was very complimentary and i was told him how surprised i was at how well i did and uh, yeah he was very pleased but then i went into class that night <laughs> and i drew awful <laughs> absolutely awful and I realized that, you know, these things, these things come into focus. So one of these days you will, uh, you'll hit it out of the park on one of these. And then, and then you will be like really uh, frustrated because it, you won't hit it again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring down my septum from my nose here. And I'm judging the distance between the, the, uh, this little, this little part of the lip to the bottom of the nose. You see that? And so this will be the area coming around here. It's called the barrel of the mouth. And this girl is quite young, so it doesn't really show. But if you're older, like me, see, you can see that barrel of the mouth coming around here. But we could use it to help construct uh, construct our our uh, our head here, all right? So using the barrel of the mouth, the corners of the mouth are going to be on either side. And usually they will line up with the center of the pupil, but uh, because her eyes are not dead center, they're off to the angle, they're, that's not going to happen this time. Okay. And it's skipped over, so let's see here. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Hold on. This gives you, this is great. It gives you a chance to get caught up, right? All right. Why isn't that showing up? Give it a second here. Sometimes the software I use to, uh, there it goes, project my uh, iPad to the uh, screen is problematic. But this will get this should get you back up to speed here. It gave you some time to get caught up by the uh, by what you saw there. So. Uh, what I've drawn here now is the barrel of the mouth. Uh, I've added this little septum in here, okay? That goes underneath. Thank you, Marcus. Yes, yeah, step by step, nice and slowly, right? <laughs> uh, so then we have the mouth here, okay? So I have the, the barrel of the mouth. This is this, this region that comes around here. The corners of the mouth always end up in the barrel. And they usually line up right underneath the eye, okay? But in this case, our girl's looking off to her right, so it's not gonna line up exactly there, but we still could draw the barrel. She's young, so we're not going to see it as much, but we just wanna make sure that her right side is narrower than her left side. So watch this. Here's the top, here's the top of her lips there, okay? And then we're going to come all the way out here That will be the top of her lips. You see that? <clears throat> then I'm going to draw the center, the very center part of her lips. All right. That's almost like a straight line. A 
Again, I want to make sure that this line is more extended on the right side than the left. And then I'm going to use this little thing. So I'm going to draw this a little bit closer, a little bit larger in here so you could see this. So let's, let's draw her barrel of the mouth right there. It's, it's going in this direction. This is coming around like this. You see that? This is the V. This is the center part of the lip. Okay, and then the next part I have is this underside like this. You see this? And then over here, I want to make sure that it goes like that. You see what I just did? You see the, the, the little T there? And this is what I'm showing you right here. Oh, cancel that. This is what I'm showing you, this little T right there. You see that? That will show overlap, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. I'm going to do it on my uh, drawing now. Okay. Now, let's talk about teeth for a minute, okay? When I go to draw teeth, I don't draw the teeth. I draw the negative space on either side of the teeth. I draw the negative space on the inside, okay? That really helps. Instead of trying to outline teeth, which look awful, don't draw them. Just draw the negative shape on the outside, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm going to quickly get in this bottom lip here before I do that. I'm, I'm looking at the negative space. Okay. And let's go ahead and drop in this, uh, the negative space for the T. So you can watch what I do here. I'm just filling it in over there. Filling in that in there. And that's about it. That's all I'm going to do. Now I might come back into that a little bit. But for right now, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to shadow just a little bit this back lip right over here. Just right back there, just a bit. And then, of course, underneath her lips, she has this lovely shadow. So let's, I'm going to put that in as well right now. Okay. We're moving right along here. All right, I'm going to get these cheeks in now and, and be mindful where, the, where the, the edge of that cheek is much higher than her nose. Okay. And it's almost like a straight line coming down here. She has a cleft, a little cleft in her chin. So let's just give a quick little little bit of that and then on the side of her head let's see I'm going to uh, I'm going to darken in this right side of her eye just a little bit Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and get some of this hair in here and let's, let's see what's happening here. And I'm simply looking at the shape. That's all I want to do right now. I'm not thinking of individual hairs. I'm thinking of mass. I'm looking for straight lines. Trying to match shape. And then this hair is like literally coming straight down here. Nice angle over here. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we get this hand in here now, okay? And I'm going to erase this line here. Okay, so when I'm drawing the back of a hand, these are the key things I want to look for, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to be kind of estimating, looking for the distance, the relationship of the tips, where they, where they are to one another, okay? I'm going to look at the, the relationship right in here. Okay, these are the, these are these little, these little lines that are this front tip of the hand of the, of the fingers there. I'm going to look at the relationship of these guys. And then I'm going to look at the relationship of, of those knuckles. So all, all I'm doing is trying to guesstimate where each one of these lines are, okay? So let's take that off. Come down here and I'll show you how we do that. So let's let's start with the I'm going to number this for us so that we can see this very clear. We're going to call this 1 2 3 4, okay? So you know all know where I'm so I'm looking at 1 right now. First thing I notice about one is like, wow, it's it's really close to her her lips. You see that? So that's why I want to put that first first marker right there. Now, number two, the tip of her other finger, where is that? I'm kind of I'm looking at number one. It's gonna be right about there. Number two is is right below that. And number three is right about here. So what I did in order to help me find those things, I used horizontal and vertical lines. So look at this here. So look what I did here. Number one, I'm like, okay, that's close to her lip there. All right, great. And then I was like, oh, where's number two? Oh, look, number two is just, just behind number one there. Number three, look how close three is there. And then number four is like, oh, look, if I do a horizontal line, number four is going to be right below her chin. So those, when I'm using vertical and horizontal measurements, that is what I'm looking at. All these things are taking place in my mind. I don't write them down or anything. Okay, let's go through our next set then. And I'm going to I'm going to look at the knuckles, the knuckles, okay? So, uh, let's see here. So, I'm going to look at these, right? I'm looking at the relationship where these are at to each other. 
So that first knuckle for number one is, oh, look, I, it lines up almost with the top of her lip. You see that? Uh, the number two is like right below him. And at the same angle right next to three, you see that? And then uh, the last one is a little bit further back here like this. All right, so now let's, I'm going to come in here and make some uh, a little bit stronger marks. Now watch what I do here. So there's the top of that finger. There's the top of that one. This one comes out and then it takes a slight dip. And then before it comes out, it makes a slight dip. Okay. So there is a, now I'm going to go all the way back up to number one. And I'm thinking almost like a, uh, a, a rectangle here. You see that? And these are just, all I'm doing right now is, is simply just getting a feel, some construction down here, okay? So this, this finger is going to come around like this. Same thing with this guy, slight upturn and on back here. And then this guy is like the pinky is like one, two, and then he's coming all the way back here like this. All right, let's look at number two now, okay? And watch what I do, and you can kind of see this happening. This is gonna come all the way back, all the way back to the knuckle, and then it comes down. Okay, this one goes all the way back to the knuckle back there. And number three, we can't see because I've got that darn bar in the, in the way. But it's coming all the way back there, okay? And then I'm looking at number one here. And so that gives me a good, pretty good pretty good feel. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Mask. There. Okay. Oop, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I am going to do that because I want to see what's going on here. So let me, let me erase these marks. We've talked about them enough. That should give you a pretty good idea. Make it a little bit smaller now. Okay. So her hand now, if I come over here, her hand is coming almost straight down like this. You see this? And then her thumb is behind all of this. And you can see like right here, at the, right here in the shadow, look at this. You can see where that was lining up, right underneath that pinky. A lot of drawing, especially the face, you are constantly just using measurements. You're using measurements, not grids, but just measurements to give you an idea of where things are at. And for myself, 
I use two types of measurements. I use horizontal lines, vertical lines, and then negative shape. On these top of the fingers here, I like to add a little bit of tone across the top. And then you can get some thickness. Look at this whole pinkies in tone here. The other thing I like to do is just draw a darker line across the top of them. Let's go ahead and I'm going to darken in some uh, uh, my hair here. I'm thinking not in strand, not in ha single hairs, but uh, batches of hair. Almost a straight over here. Sometimes if you're drawing, I like to add like a, a real straight line at times. It adds contrast. And uh, makes it interesting. Okay, now as her, as her hair goes, I'm just going to start looking at where is the darkest darks. I think we've, we're going over here. Just going to add an overall tone to her hair because it's pretty solid dark. Okay, now I'm going to add some tone here to her face.
Okay, now I'm going to go back in and, and actually add uh, a couple of highlights to her eyes. Highlights are going to be to the top of the pupil. And her uh, lower eyelid, watch, is also cap capturing the light. And I definitely want to, I want to get that right here. And the other side is doing that as well. Okay. Now as I squint, I can see that her, I'm going to put a little tone in her lips. I'm going to come in here at the eraser a little bit and erase slightly the, uh, the keystone shape that I used a little bit earlier. So when you get when you get to this point now, what you're trying to do is just keep asking yourself, where are the lightest lights and where are the darkest darks? And that's what you're at looking for. Are there any questions at all? <clears throat> you know, I would just add one last thing here. <clears throat> You're going to be, you look at the internet, you see a lot of people drawing faces all the time and they're really good. Well, thing is, don't be fooled because they've been drawing those faces a long time and they make it look very easy. But drawing faces are not easy. It takes lots of practice. And there's only one way, one way to make it easy. No one can do it for you. You gotta be able to do it yourself. But I can guarantee you, you will get there. You just have to stick with it, okay? And I think that is a good point to call it a night. All right, any, any final thoughts, any final questions on that? All right, I think that's it. Well, hey, listen, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, all right? Let me know, post your work in Facebook. If you're interested in joining our free class, the uh, Beginner's Workshop, uh, that's located in the description. And other than that, I think we're finished here. Thanks for watching. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.